video where we're gonna learn about snappy scroll feature which is newly implemented in CSS. We want to implement this in our one upcoming project that we'll be releasing very soon. But I thought instead of releasing that just onto our internal teams and just interns, why not to make it public because it's a good feature. The great thing about this feature is it's not gonna break your entire CSS if it doesn't work on your browser. So hey Internet Explorer guys who have to worry about Internet Explorer, it's kind of a safe thing to do so. And uh, let me just go forward and uh, this is uh, the editor that we'll be using. So just create a simple index.html file and that's it because this is just a prototype implementation of a new feature. And yes, of course, it's going to work in uh, Chrome, it's going to work in Firefox and Internet Explorer, I assume it probably won't work because nothing works on Internet Explorer. It's just a nightmare thing. Why does it even exist? So just create a that and this is the file that it looks like just plain simple white right now what we'll be doing first and foremost go to your chrome and type this chrome colon slash slash settings slash help once you do so make sure that this roundy roundy thing just gets internet and is chrome is updated because without an updated chrome you won't be able to see this feature at all not even in the prototype thing and yes it works in all updated versions of chrome all updated versions of firefox and it's not going to break any css so hope assuming that everybody is having updated uh, Chrome, which is like a pretty big assumption. Let's write some code. So we're going to write a colon here, uh, the exclamatory thing and hit the tab. In case you have you don't have any idea how this works, actually go to learncodeonline.in, take my free course on Emmet and just do yourself a favor. You'll be able to write HTML and CSS much more faster. So spend a day or two on Emmet and it's a pretty dope plugin, pretty dope feature. And now we are going to do some of this. So this is not exactly like building up a web page. This is about just testing this snappy scroll feature. It's pretty quick. Just follow me along. We're going to write a simple div, which is going to have a class of one. There we go. We need two of them. So we're going to duplicate that. And that will be actually two. There we go. Now what we need to do is we need to have some paragraphs. So we're going to say h1 and we're going to have lorem of 10 words. There we go. Nice and easy. And we can actually just copy this and can paste them here as well. So there we go. How does it look? There we go. Let's reload that. Pretty decent. And we're going to break the rule as well. We are going to write the CSS in the same file because this is just a prototype test. Surely I recommend you to write the CSS in a separate file. It's good for practice. It's good for interviews and pro portfolio, everything at all. We're going to have style element here. Oh, there is a document. We don't want you. We want you to say snappy scroll. There we go. Save that. Now in this, we are going to define some things for these divs so that it at least look decent. So we're going to have one. The first thing we are going to do is background color. We're going to choose a color which is going to be, let me write that, is going to be E84342. E84342, so which is already decided. It's kind of a red. And we need a color of white. So we're going to go for all FFF. And uh, there we go. We are going to decide some of the other properties for this one as well. Uh, for example, we're going to have a text align of center and we need some height as well. So we're going to go for height of 100 viewport height. We want to take the entire screen for that one. I think that's it. That's all what we want to do. Let's just go ahead and quickly hit to reload there. And there we go. Nice and easy, flat, whitish, red kind of a stuff. Now let's just go ahead and copy the same thing for two as well. Probably should have used SAS to save some time. But again, anyways, uh, there we go. And we will go for two. And what we'll be doing is we'll be just changing the color for the blue. So let's choose a little bit kind of a shiny blue for this one. And that is uh, 0A79DF. There we go. It's kind of a bluish, but I'm pretty sure you're going to like that. So there we go. So this is like, now don't worry about padding and stuff. We are not here to talk about it actually. What I really want to do now in this particular feature is, uh, the whole idea is once a user is on the screen, let's assume that he has read the, all the content on the screen. Now he scrolls onto it. Then obviously he should not be stopped in the middle of the scroll. It should just snap at the top. Probably this might not be a need of your project. Our For our project, it's a need for that. So how we are going to do that, it's actually being done quite easily in just probably four lines of code. That's it. It's a new feature. 
first and foremost thing that you need to remember is this only can be applied on to the parent element first and then just like the flex box something like that so here the parent is actually body yours might be another division so it can go there as well i'm gonna just do that for the body so we're gonna have a body there we go and the first thing that we need to do is define a scroll snap type so we're gonna do a scroll dash snap type and it requires two parameter first on what axis you want to go y axis or x axis i want to go for y axis then we have a couple of things to apply like a proximity or mandatory i'm going to go for mandatory uh, because that's kind of a need for this particular project and also we have to define the overflow as well so we are we want to say overflow not that overflow of y is uh, you do have variety of options we just want to implement the scroll so these are like compulsory line you have to have it but this is not going to do everything for us we need to write just two two more lines of code and that is us uh, and that property might not be recognized by your code editor it's it's totally fine and that is scroll snap dash align it might not be recognized it's totally fine and we want to just say start here there we go see mine says, says i don't know what that property is but trust me it does exist so just copy that and paste in all the elements where you want to apply in this case it makes sense to apply that on both the divisions so notice when i just go back and hit reload because we are going old school there and notice when i scroll it a bit it automatically i'm not scrolling the whole way i'm just leaving it up there so if I just go a little bit like that, notice how snappy it is. It just doesn't go. And when it goes, it just goes completely like that. Probably it will look good much on if we just have one more element or probably a couple of more. So we're going to have like three. So we're going to go for three and we can just copy and paste this one. Copy that and paste that. And we're going to have and probably we need another taste of uh, red-ish tone here. And we this time are going to go a little bit on to the dark. So we're going to go for B8 and what that is 3227. There we go. Save that. Let's hit reload. And there we go. So this one is this one is here. Oops, we need to do a hit reload. There we go. So it's just a snappy. This is the feature. And when you'll be doing it on your system, you will realize that yes, it is snappy. It doesn't stop in the halfway. It just goes completely like that. So this is what exactly what we wanted to do with this upcoming project and I hope you can apply that on some of your project if it needs that. And definitely read out the documentation of this scroll snap type. It's a kind of a latest feature and will be supported by most of the browser very soon. Core CSS feature. So that's it for this video and let's catch up in the next one.